Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie if you are new here and I'm so, so happy to have you here today. So today's video is a bit of a mixed bag as far as DIYs go. I've got a couple of thrift flips and then a couple of just DIY decor ideas in the boho style, which you guys know that I absolutely love. And this video is sponsored by Offre Ribbon, which I am so excited about. They have just launched a new line of high-end ribbon called Black Label by Offre and it's available at Joann's stores. So you guys know I'm always trying to come up with creative ways to use my DIY supplies. So I've got four ideas on how you can use this new line of ribbon and hopefully it will inspire you to do the same in your own decor. So let's get started. So as soon as I saw the ribbon options, I knew I wanted to create sort of a whimsical wall hanging. The thing that's really cool about this new line is that they have a ton of different textures to play around with. So there are beaded options, crushed velvet, silk, and they're all in really trendy color palettes, which you know works well for the type of DIYs that I love to make. Okay, so for this wall hanging, you will need the inner part of an embroidery hoop or some sort of maybe a metal ring would work just as well. And then your ribbon, of course. This is the Nandini ribbon. And I'll link all of the options that I use down below for each DIY so you can see the names of them and the colors and everything. So I cut a pretty long piece and I folded it in half. The length is really up to you as far as how long you want your wall hanging to be. And then I slid that underneath the hoop and then brought the ends up and pulled them through the loop that was created by the ribbon and just pulled it tight. So I'm gonna do this a few times with the same exact ribbon and this is going to be the base layer because it's the thickest kind that I'm going to be using. Now I love the shimmery tone of this ribbon. It's one-sided though, so instead of looping it around, I decided to glue it right on top so that the side that has the pattern on it would be facing forward. So I just added a little bit of glue and glued it right down over top the other pieces of ribbon. I basically became obsessed with the pattern on this one and the color, but it was a bit thick for my wall hanging, so I just cut it into strips and you can still get the sense of the pattern and you get to add some fun texture to your wall hanging. So the thing about this is it's all about layering and playing around with it until you get it the way that you like it. Once I had all of my ribbon attached, then I took some faux eucalyptus and I just glued it right on over top. I love to add a little pop of greenery to most things that I do. I think it just kicks it up a notch, but like I said, this is so whimsical and fun. I think it would be great for wedding or nursery decor or just room decor. I use baskets all over my house for blankets and pillows and plants and things like that. So this one is just sort of a plain basket. So I figured why not dress it up a little bit. So I took this blue ribbon and I added a bit of hot glue and I just wrapped it around. And I'm not gonna wrap it all the way because I want to conserve the ribbon and the way I'll style it in my house. You'll only see the front of it. So it didn't really need to go all the way around. So then I just glued the other side down and cut off the excess. The blue is great, but I love having some pink in my decor, so I decided to add another layer of ribbon over top and just leave the blue peeking out a little bit, but you'll mostly see the pink. I'm liking the way this looks, but I wanted to add even more, so I decided to add one more row of this same exact pattern, so just the blue down on the bottom and then the pink over top. You can totally leave this as is, but I wanted to add some tassels, and instead of using yarn like I normally would, I figured, why not make tassels out of the ribbon? I decided to take some ribbon and fold it in half and then loop it around the handle of the basket. Then I took my scissors and I just cut little strips into the ribbon so that it has this tassel pattern. I decided I wanted the colors to be sort of intertwined so I removed them and then I folded them in half together and then I re-looped them around the handle as one big tassel so that the colors were kind of intertwined. This is such an easy way to dress up just a plain old basket for your decor. So lately I've been really loving abstract line art. If you Google it, you'll see what I mean. And basically what you do is take your writing utensil, I'm just using a Sharpie and a piece of white paper, and you just start drawing in one continuous line all over your paper um, in all different shapes and things like that. You just don't lift 
your writing utensil up. I tried this a bunch of times. It's really good for people who are not artistically inclined like me. And is mine perfect? Definitely not, but it's fun to play around with um, and kind of like see what you can come up with and what you like. And I just had a lot of fun creating this. Okay, now this is where my thrift flips come into play. I always thrift picture frames whenever I go to the thrift store. Um, so I just have a huge stash of them in my craft supply closet. So I'm going to kind of dress one up today. To do this, I'm using this gorgeous crushed velvet ribbon and I'm just adding a little bit of glue to each of the corners of the frame and then I started to line the frame with the ribbon. It is so simple. When I got to each corner, I folded the ribbon over itself and then continued up the other side. I also added a little bit of glue on each corner just to make sure that that folded part would stay down. This is literally the whole process. It is super simple, like I said, but it's a fun and easy way to just kind of embellish a frame that normally is just kind of plain. You can add your favorite color. For me, this fits in perfectly with my color palette in my decor, so I'm really excited about it. And lastly, something that I always, always thrift are glass jars or vases, and it's something that I love to give a little makeover to. So as part of the Black Label line off, I released this embellished beaded ribbon, which I think is amazing. It's so ornate and I love this color. So I thought it would be fun to just kind of decorate the bottom of this vase so I can put some eucalyptus in it or something. So I just added some hot glue to it and kind of rolled it around itself and held it until the glue was dry. Added some eucalyptus and it's just a super simple way to upgrade a vase, but it looks stunning with my decor. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. And like I mentioned, I will list each of the ribbons that I used down below for each project. Black Label by Offre is now available at Joanne stores and online at joanne.com. So check it out. It is so good for home decor, flower arranging, wedding decor, you name it, any kind of DIY that you wanna do. So I hope you guys will enjoy that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.